Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to expand your action button capabilities thanks to my action button 2.0 shortcut. I'm using this shortcut for several months and I would like to share with you its amazing capabilities. Thanks to my shortcut, you can assign multiple actions to the action button, like for example in my case, my most used shortcuts, exercise assistant, Siri GPT, sleep tracking and so on. In this video, I'm going to show you how this shortcut works and how you can customize it to fit your own lifestyle. As always, my shortcuts are completely free and you can find them in the description of this video. Enjoy! If you like these types of videos, please like and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get started. First, let me start by showing you how the shortcut actually works. On my Apple Watch, when I'm pressing the action button, I see the action button 2.0 menu. This is my selection of my most used shortcuts like exercise assistant, ultra low power mode, Siri GPT, sleep tracking and Google Translate. On my Apple Watch, one of the most used shortcut is Exercise Assistant. This shortcut lets me quickly start my favorite sports activities like walking, running, running with Nike Run Club, biking, opening the Work Outdoors app, exercising, swimming or opening the Gentle Streak app. So this lets me quickly start my favorite sports activities. When I choose the Nike Run Club, it automatically opens the Nike Run Club app. From here, I can start my workout. Let's say I want to start a quick walking session. All I have to do is press the action button on my Apple Watch, select the exercise assistant shortcut and from here select walking. Boom! Everything happens automatically. Of course, the exercise assistant is only the first part of my action button 2.0 shortcut. Let's press the action button again and see what other options do I have here. My second most used shortcut is called Siri GPT. This is a chat GPT on my Apple Watch. By the way, I already made a separate video on this topic, so if you're interested, you can check it out. I will leave a link in the description of this video. So basically, I can use ChatGPT on my Apple Watch. This is a very, very handy shortcut. I'm using it quite often when I have some specific questions, some calculations. It's like, it's a game changer shortcut. You can have a free ChatGPT on your Apple Watch. How cool is that? Since Apple Intelligence is not available on the Apple Watch, my shortcut Siri GPT at least helps me to improve Siri capabilities on the watch. Some people might say it's stupid, why should you have ChatGPT on an Apple Watch, but it's super handy, it's very useful. When you have like small questions, you don't have to use your iPhone, you can use the Apple Watch. It's so cool, I love it. Apple Watch is my favorite tech device ever, so I'm trying to use it as much as I can. I don't know why Apple Intelligence is not available on the Apple Watch, but I kind of invented the Apple Intelligence before Apple did it with a free shortcut. Of course, reading text on the tiny screen of the Apple Watch is not very comfortable, but when you are looking for the information on the go, it's still useful. It's better than nothing. Let's press the action button again to reveal my other shortcuts. My shortcut number three is called sleep tracking. As its name says, it helps me to track my sleep quality. When I'm launching this shortcut, it instantly turns off all HomeKit accessories like my computer, lights in my apartment, it opens the Sleep Cycle app, I just have to press start button and it starts sleep tracking and it also turns on bedtime mode on my Apple Watch. So everything happens instantly. It's a very handy shortcut that helps me to sleep better. I also added to my action button my HomeKit accessories, so from my Apple Watch I can quickly turn on the outlet or lights in my apartment by pressing the action button. It's very handy, as you can see I've just turned on the uh, EVE smart plug and it automatically turns on my computer, right from my Apple Watch thanks to the action button. I've also added a small shortcut that simply turns on or turns off lights in my studio just by pressing the action button. I've also added to my action button 2.0 the Google Translate shortcut. I'm reading a lot of books in foreign languages, so having a Google Translate shortcut on the action button is very useful. 
subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's translate this phrase to French. It should be something like abonnez-vous à ma chaîne YouTube. If you are traveling a lot, Google Translate is very useful on the Apple Watch. But that's not all. I still have cool shortcuts on my action button 2.0. Next shortcut I'm using quite often on my Apple Watch is called RSS feed. This is a quick way to read news right on my Apple Watch. From here I can select my favorite news resources like for example Mac rumors. I can browse through different news articles. Let's select this one and it opens a tiny web browser right on my Apple Watch from where I can read the article. Sometimes it's very useful when you're waiting in line or when you have some dead time, you can watch news on your Apple Watch. For the purpose of this video, I've added a bunch of tech resources, but you can replace them by your own news resources. I've also added the action button 2.0 to the action button on my iPhone 15 Pro Max. So I have the same actions on my iPhone. It's very handy. I can quickly select exercise assistant, select my favorite sport like walking and it will instantly start walking workout on my Apple Watch. So I can launch workouts from my iPhone. How cool is that? I'm also using the Siri GPT shortcut on the action button on my iPhone. It opens a quick pop-up window where I can type my request. It will process my request using ChatGPT API and I will get the answer right on my iPhone screen. Two hours later. I don't even have to open the ChatGPT app. Everything happens using the shortcuts menu. Controlling my HomeKit accessories using the action button on my iPhone is very useful. I just love it. Now it's time to show you how you can install and configure the action button 2.0. So first of all, you have to download the action button 2.0 shortcut. The download link will be in the description of this video. You tap on it and you will see this pop up window. Just add my shortcut to your shortcuts library and it will also appear on your Apple Watch. Let's have a look on the structure of this shortcut. It's very simple. It's just a menu with different shortcuts. You can also replace them by your own shortcuts. You can add your custom shortcuts. You can remove them. It's up to you. You got the idea. Next, on your iPhone, go to settings, action button, select the shortcut and then select the action button 2.0 from the shortcuts list and voila you've just configured the action button 2.0 on your iphone's action button to configure this on your apple watch go to settings action button select action shortcut obviously so once you did this, go to the shortcut and select the action button 2.0. As you can see, the configuration process is very simple. Guys, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.